Romance scams are on the rise. People assuming fake identities is leading to real heartbreak. Not only that, but also financial ruin. Richard Giacobis explains how victims who believe they found love end up losing thousands of dollars. You always say timing's everything, and I thought, okay, it's my time. I, I met this great guy. There is an old adage, absence makes the heart grow fonder. And for Jennifer Smith, well, she believed she was really lucky in love. I felt like I really kind of knew this person, and then, you know, within a couple of months, he was like, I'm falling in love with you, I'm looking for a wife, you're the girl of my dreams. Jennifer, who's originally from New York City, was looking for her one true love just over a year ago when a man by the name of Craig slid into her DMs on Instagram. Yeah, he just caught me at like kind of a vulnerable time and I started to talk and we talked on the phone a couple times and he immediately um, wanted to move over from Instagram over to WhatsApp. Jennifer and Craig were messaging from morning till night every day. Craig told her he was an investment banker who was on a long-term business trip in Dubai. It was months into this long-distance relationship when Jennifer finally became suspicious. You see, Jennifer never met Craig. She never even saw him on FaceTime, but he was suddenly asking her to invest in Bitcoin. So she sent him nearly $4,000 dollars over a short period of time and then a few weeks later he asked for twenty thousand dollars for a different investment and that's when jennifer said no way and he's like you don't love me and i was like that doesn't have anything to do with it that you know this isn't no it's an investment i could lose the money too it soon became clear that jennifer was a victim of a romance scam not everyone yeah. is in tune to it they get sucked in by their emotions in the meantime jennifer's hopes and dreams of that fairy tale love story are no more She's no longer on dating sites or social media. She doesn't even date. I've never been married before, and I would have liked that moment to be real and not somebody scamming me just to take advantage of me and humiliate me. I mean, I, you know, was telling, like, friends and family that, you know, I was finally engaged, and, it, you know, that's what the person stole from me. In Old Japan, New Jersey, Richard Giacobis, Fox 5 News. Wow, feel for Jennifer. Cautionary tale, though.